Hello everyone, I am Nagin and welcome you back to my YouTube channel pro to your Tab. Let me tell you about this channel. This channel is totally based on Python language, especially for students of class 11th and 12th. Those who had opted Python as an optional or IT as an additional, they both will be getting their study material and everything on this channel here. Today I am here to discuss syllabus of class 11th. How what I will be discussing? How to download, how to know this chapter is based of which content because the syllabus have a lot of the complexities because whatever book you are preferring, especially students are preferring books of Sumita Aurora. But in book it is given unit wise, chapter wise, but in uh, your syllabus it is mentioned all together, means your, a complete book is divided into three categories. So how to know which part is where in your book? I will be showing this all in this video. So let's continue the video. Till now, if you had not subscribed the channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the notification button on and if video is fruitful, then don't forget to press the like button. Let's start the video. The very first step, you have to open any of the browser and type cbscacademic.nic.in as I had mentioned this all and you have to click where in this option. Just do one thing, click on this academic electives and then you will be getting an option of computer science. Then as soon as you will be opening this, this uh, page will be open. On that page, what you will be getting, see this. Here you have to notice that the session is 2021 and 22 only because lot of the pages are available on site and it is of older version. Here, a complete syllabus of class 11th as well as of class 12 both are available. Let me download it firstly. Okay, you may save as per your desire where you want to save and then let me go on the deep of this syllabus. This syllabus contain what and what parts you will be getting where on the book. This is all I will be telling. See, here the very first part is what? Here as I told that this syllabus is of class 11th and 12th both. On the top part means here. You can see it in the bottom section of class 12 also. But... We have to go for class 11. So let's go on top. Fine. The very first one is learning outcomes. What it means throughout the year, what you are going to learn after learning this all Python. The very first thing you will be knowing is computational thinking. Then you will be knowing about data types, then algorithms. Then you will be knowing about the architecture of op architecture, operating system, cloud computing related to the computer system, then cyber safety crime, ethics, this all. Then finally you will be knowing about the underlying disability issue. Fine. This all are what learning outcomes. Let me come on distribution of marks. It has been divided into three units. Unit 1 of 10 marks. Unit 2 of 45 marks. Unit 3 of 15 marks. And complete is of 70 marks. Then what about 30 marks? 30 marks is from practical session means a complete of 100 marks, 74 theory and 34 practical and see the complete book is divided into three unit now you will be getting getting a much more complexities because a book may contain number of chapters and it has been divided into only three sections let me clarify this all on this video let's start the very first one unit one unit one you can see a number of points are mentioned now point number one point number two as well point number three these all are of chapter number one basics types of software as well operating system these all are of chapter number one let me show you where this is available let me open a book of sumita aurora you can see this is the very first chapter computer system overview which will which will take out point number one, point number two, and point number three. What about point number four? Boolean logic. It is of chapter number three. And the number system, encoding schemes, these are of chapter number two, data representation. See, in data representation, all the number conversions as well as encoding schemes will be you will be getting on chapter number two. When we talk about this Boolean logic, then not get gate, this all truth table, De Morgan's theorem is available in chapter number three. Okay, let me open that page also so it will be more clear to you all. See, on chapter number 3 it is Boolean logic. In chapter number 4 that is insight into program execution where you will be getting emerging trends like cloud computing, 
cloud services these all are of chapter number 4 so unit 1 this unit 1 will occupy 4 chapters on your book let's start with unit 2 in unit 2 the very first point is introduction to problem solving where we will be knowing about algorithms and flowchart we have a fresh chapter that is chapter number 5 introduction to problem solving coming on next we are having formalization with the basics of python basics of python means now we are going to start a python language over there now though this all basics is available on chapter number 7 that is python fundamental where you will be knowing about tokens these all input output these all you will be knowing on chapter number 7 moving to next we will be having a knowledge of data types data types we will be knowing on chapter number 8 and operators expressions errors this all uh, means this all we will be getting on chapter number 8 let me open that page so you, the concept will be more clear see in chapter number 8 data handling you will be knowing about data types in data types you will be knowing which type of data types python supports fine and then on moving forward we will you will be getting about an operators operators is are also of this part only mutable immutable data types and then finally expressions where you will be knowing about arithmetic operator sorry type casting this all finally finally last term is errors error is also of chapter number eight only then this much one two three four five six points till six point of unit two we will be getting of chapter number five to chapter number eight it's not at all about unit two unit two will carry much more Okay, this is only a few points. Let me come on another point. See, after error, we have the very first point that is flow of control, where we will be knowing about sequential flow, conditional flow, iterative flow, where we will be getting this all chapters. Okay, this all chapter we will be having on chapter number nine, and the chapter itself name is flow of control, where we will be getting this all. Coming on next, we are having a conditional statement, and for this conditional statement, where you have to go see in conditional statement if else this all means this all is also available in chapter number nine fine then let's come on iterative statements in iterative statements you will be getting a loop and loop is also available on same chapter that is on chapter number nine coming on next that is chapter uh, that is a uh, string string we have a complete chapter quite very important and this chapter is of uh, itself available in your book that is chapter number 10, 10 string manipulation fine okay after this we are having two more chapters like lists and tuples list and tuples have another they are also having their own chapters like in chapter number 11 you will be getting about the list and then in next chapter that is tuples we will be getting this all details on chapter number 12 fine okay it's all completed no we are in unit 2 itself okay let me scroll the page that and then i may open that index so it the concept of all the book will be clear today only let me open it then the next chapter is dictionary dictionary is of chapter number 13 where you will be getting a complete details of dictionaries available and dictionary is also quite very important for uh, for examination point of view then uh, again we have an important point that is sorting techniques Sorting techniques, there are two types of sorting techniques are supported in Python language that is bubble and insertion short. And for this, we are having again a fresh chapter and that is chapter number 14. Finally, till chapter number 14, we have to cover this much only. So our unit 1 and unit 2 is completed now. We have to move forward on unit 3. On unit 3, there are two, uh, there are three chapters on 15, 16 and 17. Let me open that all pages so your concept will be clear over there. When we talk about cybercrime, then chapter number 15. In chapter number 15, you will be getting this point. Moving forward about data protection, then data protection will be available on chapter number 17. And then many more are there like if you talk about uh, the last point, technology and society. Technology and society is also a part of chapter number 17 itself you can see the downside and then even though when we talk about here e-waste management then e-waste management is also available in chapter number 17 so this is all about chapter 
16, chapter number 15, 16 and 17. This all is of unit 3. And then moving forward, we will be having a point that is point number 4 that is about practical session. I will be going to give, I will be giving a short descriptions about this. So you will be knowing what to do and what to not. When we talk about point number 1, that is of lab test which will contain 12 marks. Here you have to do programs on lab itself at the end of the session and your lab activity will contain 60% of logic, 20% documentation, document means how the code is written and what about the quality of your code of 20%. That means the complete this lab activity will have 12 marks. Then moving forward we will be having, you have to submit report file as well as project file. Report file of maximum 20 Python programs which will contain 7 marks then a project file project will be based on a complete concept what you have learned in class 11th you have to submit a comp uh, that project and it will contain 8 marks then finally uh, your viva that is of 3 marks a complete is of 30 marks this is what a complete syllabus of class 11th then point number 5 is what a practical list practical list means what some of the practicals are being suggested that you have to do here three programs are given at the top and then finally a patterns number one two and three these all are the program which is being suggested to you to do and many more programs are given on a computer book which you have to practice a lot because programming is a backbone of whole this python system so you have to do a lot of the programming and then finally this all is what a syllabus which is being given by a cbsc which i have explained to you all if you are getting any of the doubt in any of the point, do comment me so I may suggest you what to do and what to not. I hope this video is going to be fruitful for you to understand the complete Python syllabus. And if it is fruitful, then do like and don't forget to subscribe the button to subscribe my channel and press the notification button on. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye bye and Jain.